Hey guys, this is Matthew with a grasshopper tutorial in showing you guys how to basically edit the kind of background user interface of the software for ticket screenshots for tech submissions. So just to explain a little bit beforehand, you see how it is loading up all of these softwares, all, all of these different scripts. Um, what it is doing, it is um, essentially opening up various files for um, commanding exactly what the user interface is going to look like. So what we have to do, unfortunately this kind of getting rid of this gray background and this grid is not an easy feat and you could Photoshop remove it, but I have figured out how to um, go into the kind of get it to the guts of Grasshopper and be able to uh, remove that background or turn it white at least so that we can, yeah, more easily use the scripts um, in presentations. And so what you are going to do is, actually, I'll go back. What we're going to do is go to File, Special Folders, Settings Folder. And in the settings folder are various files that basically initialize and determine what the software does and looks like. So this, the file that we're going to <laughs> mangle a little bit is called grasshopper underscore GUI, which I believe it means general user interface. And so I've been kind of picking away at this when you open it up, you're gonna to wanna to open it up in like WordPad, um, at least on PC. I don't know what it would be on Mac, but you wanna go into like a, the general text editor, um, not necessarily Microsoft Word, but the one that you would do to edit some code. And you're going to look through this file. Basically, it tells you an item name which uh, it'll tell you kind of generally what it is. This would be black standard text. Um, and then um, this will basically edit the grasshopper drawing color. And ARGB basically says in, in order A, alpha, R, red, green, blue. Oh, sorry, G is green and B is blue. And so alpha is the first color, red, green and blue. So it'll be on a scale of zero to 255. 255 basically means um, for alpha, it is the highest value. So alpha means the opacity. So 255 means it's completely opaque. Zero means that it is invisible. So, and then setting everything to the highest value um, to turn it white, you are setting it all the way up because what we are doing is essentially controlling how much the pixels are working. So 255 sets the power level of the R pixel to 255, which is the highest value. And zero means that it is completely shut off. So having 255 for all the values will give you white. Having zero for all the values will give you black. And what we're going to look for, is a uh, canvas, so canvas back color. So this will basically help us change the color of the canvas. Right now it is set to some kind of arbitrary number. I had to pick some random numbers earlier because my software crashed after I saved it to what I'm about to type out right now, which is setting everything to 255. So that will just set it to 100% opacity, 100% white. And then to get rid of the grid color, right now it is set to black at, um, on a scale of zero to 255, it is at 30 opacity. So we're gonna set that to zero. That way the grid is just completely gone. And then that is all we are going to fiddle with. So we're gonna wanna make sure that we close Rhino completely, Grasshopper and Rhino. And now we can save this file. Save, I'm just gonna 
I'm just gonna save it a couple of times just to make sure it worked. And then we can go back in and open up Rhino. This may take a second, so bear with me. There you go. So this is the canvas that we now have. So now whenever you kind of put stuff down, you'll have a completely white background. Hopefully that's more helpful whenever you're trying to kind of put this into files and also more helpful for Photoshop. Um, and whenever you kind of group things together. Yeah, so hopefully that helps. And if you guys want some uh, simpler thing, I will also um, include a, I will include this file. Um, let's, I'm gonna include this file in where you guys, in the project description so that you guys can get a hold of it. And what you will need to do is go in, press File, Special Folders, Settings Folder. You'll want to delete, not close all that. What you're gonna wanna do is delete this file, which is terrifying, um, but delete that file Make sure it's not deleted forever. And you're going to go into downloads and I just do copy, go back. I'm gonna paste it in there. And then you guys can just use the dirty work that I have already done um, to edit that background. Hope this helps. Um, let me know if you have any other questions. Mm, thanks.